let's look at our side panel here. This is going to give you easy access to some of your applications and tools. Um, this is easy to move up and down. You also have access to, to it on both sides of the screen. Okay. And you can also access it no matter what window you're in. So any application that you have open, you can easily click this and access any of these applications. That's so great. starting off, we have our back button. This is just gonna take you to the previous page that you were on. Then we have our home, which will take you to this main home page we have displayed here. Then we have our tabs that we have open at the, at the moment. So as you can see, these are all the applications we are in right now, and you can easily exit out just by swiping. Cool. So we can exit out of all those. We can go back to home. And then we have our first application, which is Note. This is super helpful for um, instruction, uh, writing problems on the board, writing notes. You can select your pen down here, choose a color, um, and then you can write really easily on this board, like so. And then we, of course, have an eraser function. You can cross things out and get rid of them, or you can use the trash can function to delete everything on the screen at the same time. We also have some, some shape options over here. You can easily draw a circle or a triangle. You can use this hand tool to move this around anywhere on the screen. And then the cursor also allows you to change the size, the color, the dimension of that shape. And then we can delete that as well. That's great. So, Perfect. okay, correct me if I'm wrong, Aubrey. Mm -hmm. You said that the intuitive touch performance detects up to 40 touch points at a time. Exactly. So you and I, we're students. Mm -hmm. We can use this at the same time? Exactly, yeah. That's can great. We can we try that? Yeah, yeah I would love to. Okay. You can do math problems at the oh, same time. Awesome. And I, you can't tell this out there, but this feels really nice to write yeah, on. It's and super easy. there's almost no lag. I mean, mm -hmm. I draw the line and it, it goes right, almost right away. Exactly. That's incredible. Yeah, it's super... Um, touch sensitive, very intuitive. It's great. Yeah, I love that. Perfect. So then we can just delete everything we just drew. We can go to the paint section, which will open up some of your options. So we have some paint brushes, um, a pencil here, and you can change the size here. So we can click on this paintbrush. We can choose a color, change the shade of that color even, and you can paint. So this is a super fun application for students to play around with. That's really great. So. Yeah. If I'm a teacher and I, I'm, I did this really awesome lesson on notes mm -hmm. um, and I, I want to share this, I want to save this forever, uh, could I do that? Yeah, of course. So if you look over here in the corner, we have an undo button and then we have your save button. So if you click that, it's going to save this um, note to your files and you can always access it later. That's great and that, that's super helpful for remote, remote students. Exactly. And also if you exit out of the application, it's going to ask you if you want to save or, or don't save. Oh, great. So that's also there. So we can go back to our home. Now we have the annotation tool, which if I open our browser right now, we have a document open here that we can annotate um, and we just tap on our little annotation tool. It's gonna bring up a pen and we can write on this document, make any changes, make any notes that we would like. So you can draw on there. You can use the highlighting tool to highlight important parts of the document. And of course you have your little broom to delete all annotations on the document. And then this is our save button. So you can save this document with the annotations attached. And then we have our exit. Go back. Perfect. Now we have just a general zoom in, zoom out function. So you can easily um, do a close up on the screen, move your screen around, and then you can also go back to the, its original setting. And then here we have some tools that are really helpful in the classroom like Spotlight. This will help you focus in on one thing as well, um, put a little more emphasis on whatever you have on the screen. Super helpful. Oh, exit out of that. And then we also have some timer tools like countdown and stopwatch. Um, and then of course we have air class. So this is super helpful to get your students um, engaged in class. They can scan this QR code through their tablet or their phone and join in. Even if you're in a Zoom class, if you're a remote student, you can still scan this code and join in remotely, which is a super cool feature. That's great. So we can enter the class. 
And down below, we have some options here. So we have voter, judge, responder, selector, and message. Um, and this just allows you to quiz your students. You can do a random selection um, of students. You can do true, false. You can message your students. Um, there's a lot of different options here for, for collaborating. Yeah, I love that remote students can join too. That makes mm -hmm. it learning super accessible. Exactly. So we can exit out here. Perfect. And then lastly, we have just our general settings. So you have your inputs here. We have three HDMIs, a VGA, and then your volume, and of course, your brightness. So we can exit out of that. 